We have been at Starfish Point for two days now. Um, just had a relaxing day, went ashore, participated in some cocktails. And today we're gonna go up a little canal that is just on the other side of the point here that they used to move cargo down to cargo ships that couldn't access the river. Supposedly it's a little overgrown, so we're hoping we see some monkeys, maybe a sloth, and uh, whatever else is interesting. Going. Just gonna put a little kit together with bug spray and depth sounder and radios and VHF and a cell phone just in case we run into trouble. We're just gonna pack up and then we're gonna head out. Captain Bly, <coughs> we're ready. I'm ready. Get in the boat. Let's go. Where are we going, Carla? We're going up an old cargo canal. Chiquita Canal. Chiquita Canal. Your glasses are crooked. Your glasses are crooked. Do you know why my glasses are crooked? Is it your hat? We are headed just across the bay from Starfish Beach to check out what the locals call the Chiquita Channel. The small channel runs parallel with the coast and was used by the local companies to move goods from the Changanola River to the bay where cargo ships could easily anchor. It is no longer in use for cargo, just adventurous tourists. over the bar, we're going to head into the river. So why Chiquita? Well, the banana company arrived in this area in 1896 and the region is somewhat indebted to Chiquita for building the area's public infrastructure. Bocas del Toro itself was a bustling and prosperous city by the 1920s. However, illness hit the banana trees and Bocas fell into decay. It got back on its feet several times with abaca culture in the 1940s to provide ropes for the U.S. Navy and then illness-resistant banana crops in the 1950s. Today, it is still a banana shipment point, and the original grandeur of Bocas Town has been long gone. However, you can see its history in the colorful wooden houses built by the fruit company, as they have been converted into hotels, hostels, restaurants, and bars, giving new economic boost to this archipelago. The main reason why this canal is no longer in use is because Chiquita built a port in El Morante to export the bananas that were originally transported from the Changanola River. This port remains active a century later with the company exporting approximately 17 million boxes of bananas a year to different countries.
Mr. Nash? What do you think? Brad carried us safely. Oh, ramming speed. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I keep forgetting. Terry, Terry gets off on the ladder. I apologize, D. It's okay. My fault. So here we are. After a drunken day of floating at Starfish, we are now attempting to go to Shorty dinner. Carla and Tara are coordinating in the back, so as you know, that's gonna take a while. I'm recording. You're recording your face? I am, I'm taking pictures. Look at my nose. Oh, my nose. All right, how about that? Look at this, Carla's trying to get in the, in the back. I'm recording. Tara's over there sitting on somebody's face. There she is. Ah! This is an adventure, I'm told. I can't believe I'm leaving that boat to go with these knuckleheads. Here we go. Here's the crowd. The pina colada crowd. You ready? I'm ready. How we doing, Tara? Are we doing good? Oh my God, the speed is incredible. Where are you going, Carla? We're going over there. Just getting some momentum there, my dear. Well, your steering's not so good. Underwater. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? There's Tara. It's like she... Thank God she put a one-piece on because we're going so fast it would have ripped her bikini bottoms right off of her. I like it. I like it a lot. Paddle. Paddle. Paddle beaches. Paddle. How's Tara doing? Did she make it or did we lose her? Over that way. Okay, so we made it ashore. There she is, our motor. It's your camera. One horsepower. Yeah, we made it. Starfish Beach is one of the most beautiful and swimmable beaches in the Bocas area. The water is clear, the sand is gentle, and of course, there's starfish.
With restaurants, chairs to enjoy, and picturesque views of the mainland, this is a great day trip for anybody in the area. With the decrease of tourism, some of the restaurants are closed. However, when the weekend comes, so do the locals to liven things up. Our favorite spot is at the far end of the beach, so we head down to grab lunch and a pina colada for Swabi. Relaxing here at Emily's restaurant. Tara's watching the world go by. It's Emily Ratajkowski from Blurred Lines. Everybody knows Emily. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Cheers. Cheers. We're full. Tara's got her coconut. Pour an atlas on the ground. Kevin's wasting beer. Kevin does not like Atlas. I will tell you that right now. Not a fan of Atlas beer unless it's frozen. This is definitely one of our favorite anchorages in the area. You can enjoy the beach, have a pina colada, sit back and just watch the world go by.